Hello and welcome to This Musical Life. Today I'm going to be talking about my top 10 Christmas bucket list items. So four of these are things I want to make. So it's like in the baking category, but the rest of them are kind of all over the place. So here we go. Number one on my Christmas bucket list is making Swedish cardamom buns. I cannot stop thinking about it. I recently saw a Great British Baking Show episode where they made spiced buns and it is my favorite food in the world, um, like any kind of spiced bun or cinnamon roll. So I am determined to put my baking skills to the test and make a Swedish cardamom bun. Number two is to make homemade Chex Mix. So basically roasting it in the oven, letting it out to dry, snacking on it throughout the day. It just sounds so yummy and festive and like a good salty snack, not something super sweet. And then three and four are making two different kinds of drinks. So mulled wine, obviously, and a pomegranate spritz with pomegranate juice, some Prosecco, a little bit of gin, and probably a few other things, but I just have been thinking about a spritz, and I don't know, something about a Christmas spritz sounds so nice. Number five is run outside, and this one's not necessarily fun, but I do love the feeling of when it's cold outside, and you go for a little jog, and then that might turn into a longer jog, it might not, but you get a little chilly, your body feels good after exercising it, and you come inside and you get a, I don't know, make a coffee. <laughs> it's just something that really makes me feel a little bit more like myself when I'm eating a bunch of things, and I really just wanna still make sure my body feels healthy. Number six is doing a craft. Now, I'm not really a crafty person, but this year has been about creating for me. I made a resolution back in January that this year I was going to invest in creating things rather than just recreating things. So I did a lot of that. I mean, a lot, and it was hard, but, um, I haven't really in a while. I've just been auditioning and kind of trudging along. So I would love to do a little Christmas craft. Number six, a girl's night. So I actually already have this scheduled. Um, I have this hotel credit from one of my credit cards that I have to use by the end of the year. And so I just found like a really nice hotel in Denver and two of my girlfriends and I are gonna go just spend the night and order room service and drink champagne and watch movies and it's going to be amazing. Number eight is to get a hot chocolate and just walk around outside. I don't know where, bonus points if there's Christmas lights, but I just want to like get all snuggled up and have a nice hot cocoa in my hands and just look around and see all the beauty and breathe in the fresh air. Number nine is to drink wine and watch Christmas movies. I think just having that ritual at night, for some reason for me, feels so cozy, where you just have a bottle of wine, you drink a glass at night, nothing too overboard, but just like a little treat, and then you put on a Christmas movie and maybe do something in the background, but turn down the lights, and it's just, I don't know, super nice. And number 10, I really would love to take some time to reflect and just process this whole season. Um, I feel like I've been going so hard and I desperately need some time to just think about what I want as a person, what I love, what I liked and didn't like about my experience auditioning and performing and <clears throat> just continuing to narrow down what it is exactly that I want to do and invest my time in. So I think I'll be doing a good bit of that over Christmas break and 
I hope in the new year I can come back spiritually ref refreshed as well as physically and mentally. Well, that's it for today. Um, I will be posting videos kind of sporadically through the holidays, just as I get to them, um, you know, if I feel compelled, I will. And if I just want to rest, I'll probably just skip a few weeks. So I'll see you the next time I post. And thank you for being here for this kind of funny project. Um, We'll see what comes of the new year, what this turns into, but I enjoy making these videos. And if you like them, please let me know. If you don't like them, please <laughs> let me know. <laughs> I would love to gear this channel towards something that could be helpful or, I don't know, a way to connect us. So if you have any ideas or thoughts, then I would love if you could put those down in the comments. Thanks for being here and happy holidays to everyone. I hope that you have a safe, safe in all the ways that safe can happen. Emotionally safe, physically safe. I hope your holidays give you a little bit of that and that you can find some time to rest and be you. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.